uh, hello uh, after putting a lot of thought and like improving on my previous memorization scheme I've come up with a new way to memorize go games the ultimate aim being to be able to uh, memorize all the epic games of the 2000 year old go history uh, like you can see a kifu sheet which is a go notation sheet and memorize it or uh, you can just play it out and then memorizing it as you see along but then after just memorizing games you really uh, the next step you really want to go for is to play go blindfolded and like playing go blindfolded requires a lot of prerequisite generally people try to become pro first which is like a very high level in chess uh, in go and then they try to play some very very tough variants of go which is like one color go where both the players play with a single color stone and then you have to remember the pattern of every contact fight but here I'll be just choosing some kind of another way so uh, as you know a go game is stored in SGF format in a computer so an SGF format generally has small letters A up to S and it's A up to S, A up to S so that's how the SGF format goes and um, so you can just memorize a go game by just reading out an SGF file so just following the notation of the SGF that is you have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S and same thing for the rows uh, the previous notation that generally go boards have is A up to T and then 1 up to 19 and A up to T without the letter I uh, that's like a bit confusing and it's better to follow the SGF format if you want to memorize a game so right before me I have an uh, alpha 0 versus alpha 0 game uh, and like each uh, exchange a move by the black or move by the white I have tried to encode it as a four letter so I'll, I'll just play it out okay. so first let me just clear off this opening yeah so let's start off with the game uh, it is first uh, so DP so D and P and then PP which is here yeah, PP so DP PP then CD PD so where is CD so that's CD and then PD is here and after that it's EDCQ so um, where is E and D so that's EDCQ CQ is C and a Q so we can just see how the game is spanning out so way we can memorize the first three exchanges is uh, DPPP so that's deep punch something like that deep punch then CDPD that's a cloud panda deep punch to a cloud panda the first loci then EDCQ then that's like Edward call something like that so let's move on uh, DQCP DQ and then CP CP okay we have this exchange 
after that that's C N C O. So C N C O uh, and after that it's D O O N. So D O idea and then O N. So there's a tenuki happening right here. So O N. So um generally when you're playing out a game, um it's like tough to call out the moves of the go because like you will be playing against a player and he won't be knowing the SGF format. Um so like it's better uh, just if you can memorize it like you can just tell it relatively to other stones so when you want to play this stone you can you know it's o n but you'll say uh, play it a knight's move above the corner stone on the bottom right so that's the way you can do it you can just tell in that way so uh, you just won't have to call out the weird notation that is there that a to t and eight one to nineteen you can just say it like Hane, Tenuki, Tenuki here, or like attach here, wedge here. You can just uh, speak it out like that. And at the same time, you can uh, like just memorize the strings. So now this is where it gets a little bit harder because we are now at the seventh move. So C R C M. C R. C R C M. Where is C M? Here. Okay, after C R C M, it's D N B L. So D N and then B L. So B and L. Oops. Uh, now uh, since the the number of uh, exchanges are increased now it's like about four six eight moves in from both the sides uh, it's better now to start remembering the shapes because the shapes will reinforce what you have memorized so if you uh, like till now it's deep panda uh, deep uh, punch to a cloud panda Edward uh, calling then DQ cop that means die cop then CNCO is uh, ca can uh, can castrol something like that can of castrol then DOBN is doban some kind of doban then CRCM is uh, uh, cramel some cramel pencil of camel then uh, D uh, N B L is uh, donut ball. Um, so now, uh, like you know, there are some exchanges like this. So donut ball, you know, it's like this and this. But then it gets tougher to track all these exchanges, uh, and that's why you have to remember the shapes also. Uh, so you know, there's like this kind of opening here. But you have to remember, if this is not a joseki, then like maybe you try and create a shape in your head. If it's a Joseki, you remember the Joseki. <laughs> so for remembering Joseki, there is no technique. You just have it in your mind. You either have it or you don't have it. There's no hack of it. You just have to practice a lot of Josekis and know them. But if you want to memorize some kind of introductory moves and some weird moves, some weird exchanges, then you need to remember it as a string. And the strings that I have chosen to adopt is the SGF format, and uh, that's how you can memorize. Uh, now I'll just not be going on with the whole game because it will be like super cumbersome. But once you get the hang of it, I'll just try and show a faster version of this. Maybe I'll just tell that how you can get more fluid and fluent in memorizing a Go game. And I hope this helps and uh, I can see you guys playing blindfolded go one day. Bye. Cheers.